I'm Paul Wilson. Uh, I'm a professor here at Cal State Northridge, and I like to sort of style myself as the dilettante around campus. Today I want to tell you about the various options within the biology major. We have a Bachelor of Arts, which is sort of a general option, and then we have several uh, Bachelor of Science options, cell and molecular biology, ecology and evolution, microbiology, biotechnology, medical technology, which is a little bit different, and marine biology. You have to choose one of these options. Until you select an option, we can't plan out your degree. Uh, it's really impossible for you to interact with a computer and be advised. If you have earned fewer than 90 units, then you can select uh, the option or declare your major or change your major online. Uh, and that's done by first opening your web portal, then selecting the Solar Student Center in the lower right. Um, then there's a drop-down list labeled Other Academics, and then select Change Your Major or Minor. And then from the first drop-down menu, choose College of Science and Math, and from the second drop-down menu, select an option within Biology. If you've earned 90 units or more, then you can't change your major on your own. You'll need to see an advisor for that and come to the Biology Advisement Center. I should probably start out by saying that the BA and the BS are equivalent degrees. The names are historical. They really don't have anything to do with uh, what is science and what is art. For instance, you can get a BS in business or engineering or athletics, and none of those are really sciences. And you can get a BA in biology or chemistry or physics, and all of those are science. The BA typically is construed as being a broader degree, as having uh, more of the light tower view of the field, whereas a BS typically is taken as being more a more specific um, course of study in which you learn a subdiscipline with hands-on experience. Typically, the BS is better preparation for a specific field within biology, and it also can be a better preparation for um, getting a job in that particular field within biology. The BA typically is taken by students who are going on to professional schools or maybe going on to teaching biology uh, and they need to have uh, a broad understanding of all aspects of biology. But no graduate school or professional school will care whether you have a BA or a BS per se. Having said that, they might care about what courses you took, and at CSUN in biology, the courses are different for the different options. So the question then is, which of these various options is right for you? The Bachelor of Arts could be used as preparation for uh, graduate work in biology, but you have to be very careful there to not hang yourself and not take any courses that would actually prepare you for graduate work within a subdiscipline within biology. It's more typically taken by students who are aiming at entering a health profession, although students who are aiming at entering a health profession could just as well take one of the Bachelor of Science degrees. And then the Bachelor of Arts uh, option is also appropriate for people who want to teach high school biology or really kind of don't know what they're doing yet. I mean, if you're still lost and you still want to study biology, then the Bachelor of Arts might be the default option. The Bachelor of Science options within biology at CSUN, they're great preparation for graduate work here uh, or any other master's degree and some PhDs. They are also good preparation for the health professions, although you then want to choose particular options within the BS and take appropriate classes preparing you for those health professions. They could be used for people who are seeking a t teaching credential, particularly the ecology and evolution option is useful for uh, people who want to teach high school. You want to take a few extra courses in order to fill out your biology preparation broadly. And then they are specifically built for an entry level job uh, in a subfield within biology. For instance, being a microbiologist or an ecologist or uh, working in a pharmaceutical company or something like that. And then we have one option within the BS 
That's the medical technology option that is uh, more of a training option which would prepare students for being a clinical laboratory scientist. One of those I've written a little key here for you to decide which option you should be in. Uh, if you want to maximize the number of electives that you have and kind of shape your own program, if you want to graduate as soon as possible, uh, and if you have a really realistic plan about going on to a particular health profession, then probably the BA is the one for you. If, on the other hand, you want to take more biology courses, specifically lab and field courses, uh, focused uh, in a particular area within biology that's where CSUN is strong, then you probably want to take one of the BS programs. The second couplet uh, addresses whether you're more of an out of doors type of person and you want to take out of doors type of classes, or are you more of an indoors type of person who wants to take lab classes. If you're an out of doors type of person, then the last question is whether you want to take a mixture of terrestrial and or marine classes, or do you specifically want to focus in on marine classes, uh, and probably that means that you're aiming at going to graduate school in marine biology. Okay, now let's go back to uh, those of you who are more interested in lab classes. Uh, I think the first thing to ask is whether you specifically want to be trained to be a clinical lab scientist. That is one of those people who takes the blood when you go to the doctor and then does all of the tests on that blood to see how you're doing. Uh, that's really a little bit more of a vocational training than the rest of them, and so you could ask, answer that question. Or do you want a broader education and to be more versatile, uh, taking lots of different lab classes? Couplet 5 addresses whether you specifically want to work on bacteria, in which case, of course, you would want to choose the microbiology option. Or do you want to work uh, with eukaryotes and then maybe some bacteria as well, in which case you can move on to couplet number six. In couplet number six, we make a distinction between cell and molecular biology and biotechnology. I really feel like these are very similar options. The cell and molecular biology option might be weighted a little bit more towards lecture and understanding how things work uh, in a more thoughtful way whereas the biotechnology option is weighted a little bit more towards learning lab techniques and all the biowizardry that uh, CSUN has to offer. Okay, let's start talking about requirements. First, uh, there's the biology core, that is the courses that every biology student must take, and that varies a little bit from option to option, but all of them include a sequence of chemistry courses, and that sequence of chemistry courses means that you better get started on your chemistry very soon. And then they all include Biology 106, its lab, Biology 107, its lab. And then if you do well in those courses, you move on to evolutionary biology, genetics, and cell biology. No matter what option you're in, you'll have to take some physics. And no matter what option you're in, you will take some math. In order to advance to upper division biology classes, you have to earn a C or better in Biology 106 and Biology 107 and their labs. If you earn less than a C, in other words, a C minus or worse, then in order to progress in the biology major, you have to repeat the course in which you earned the poor grade. And it's a bit difficult to get into those courses. You can't register until four days before classes begin, and they usually fill up quite quickly. Or perhaps earning less than a C in Biology 106 or Biology 107 should be taken as a sign. Maybe the biology major isn't for you. It's really not for everybody. The biology major requires a great deal of memorization and understanding of a large body of facts. It doesn't reward creativity that much. I might have been happier if I had majored in art or in philosophy, but I did okay in biology. Anyway, you might want to consider another major if you're finding the biology courses to be uh, frustrating. 
Here's a diagram of the sequence of courses that you would take if you're a BA student. And notice that there's a long sequence of these courses. For instance, in chemistry, many students end up taking Chemistry 100. That's kind of high school level chemistry in a way. Uh, so it doesn't count towards the degree. But you often need it in order to get into Chemistry 101 and its lab, which is our entry level course. And that's a prerequisite for Chemistry 102 and its lab. And that's a prerequisite for Chemistry 333 and its lab. And that's a prerequisite for Chemistry 334 and its lab. So you need to get working on your chemistry very soon as a biology major if you can hope to graduate in a reasonable period of time. The biology courses are also somewhat sequenced. You could take Biology 107 before Biology 106, but Biology 107 requires Chemistry 101 as a prerequisite. So many people end up taking 106 first. And then 106 and 107 are required before you can advance to the upper division biology courses. Math is also going to be required in some way or other. Uh, and many students have to take Biology 93 before they can take uh, the math courses that count towards the biology degree. And then physics will be required. But physics doesn't count as a prerequisite for any other courses. And so even though you're taking 100 level physics, usually you don't take that until you're an upperclassman. Here's the diagram for the core and recommended course sequence uh, for cell and molecular biology students and biotechnology students. And you'll see that in addition to that other chemistry sequence, then you also take biochemistry, which has as a prerequisite organic chemistry. And so the sequence is even longer, and you would need to start it even sooner if you were to finish in the same amount of time. In addition, there are a number of other courses uh, that are also required for BS students, and those courses also have prerequisites. After you've taken the biology uh, lower division courses, then there's an upper division selective program. And this differs among the options. The BA requires 20 units beyond the core. And at least 17 of those units must be upper division courses. Then there are four lists from which you select those 20 units. You usually take two courses in molecular, cellular, and physiological biology, one course in systematics and comparative biology, one course in ecology and environmental biology, and then uh, one elective uh, that is a biology course, in addition to the electives that are university-wide electives. The BS options all require at least 30 units, and some of them quite a bit more. Uh, they can be quite specific in their requirements. For instance, if you're majoring in marine biology, then you'd be required to take a lot of marine biology classes. Or if you're majoring in microbiology, you would take a lot of bacteriology classes. Uh, and so they have less latitude for selection and can be a bit harder to schedule. I'd like to end by telling you to really take the most of your opportunity at CSUN and get the most out of your time with us. Realize that in the US, a bachelor's degree offers this thing that's really amazing and wonderful. It's called an education. And by that, I mean that it does not constitute training for a specific vocation. Instead, it allows contemplation and exploration and uh, a kind of pure intellectualism. Yes, definitely keep an eye on the future and try to plan out where you're going to go after CSUN. But don't get so obsessed with the future that you can't enjoy your time here. Really, the time that you spend here should be the intellectual time of your life. It was for me when I was an undergraduate. And that's really quite different than being in graduate school. Select the courses that you can love and that will give you general purpose skills. Classes that teach you how to think scientifically and how to write scientifically, how to present yourself and your thoughts in, in uh, oral presentations how to analyze data that teach you lab technique or field observation. And finally, don't overload yourself. Don't become a drudge who never gets ahead of the grind of exams and term papers and homework. 
everything in biology, and maybe in other majors as well, takes far more time than people from the outside would imagine that it would take. So try to plot out your schedule so that you'll be able to get the most out of uh, the biology classes that you take at CSUN. Mm -hmm.